Hello everybody! Welcome to today's special Empathy Day craft session with Brighton and Hove City Libraries and me, Debs. So I thought that for today's session we could take inspiration from one of the wonderful books from the Empathy Labs reading list and it's called The Steves by Morag Hood and some of you may know what these little fellows are called. They are puffins. So today we are going to make our very own Steve and I've made one already to practice and here we are. Hello Steve. So in the Steve's, the book, these two fellows meet each other and they're both called Steve and they have a little bit of competition going on and they have a bit of a fight but then they learn to think about how the other person's feeling and to play together and try and be friends and they have much more fun at the end and then another Steve comes along but they work it out. So what I did first was I had a look at the pictures to see how I could make my Steve. So if we look here, we'll see what colours can we see on this Steve. I can see black, white, I can see some yellow, some orange on the beak and the feet, and a little bit of blue. And the other Steve is very similar with a slightly different colour beak. So first of all, I actually took this one as the starting point for my Steve. So I had a look at that and I thought what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, so this is what you're going to need, some black card, some orange card or red card, some yellow card and some blue card. And, oh, and also some white card, because if we look at them, they've got white on their faces and on their belly. So I've also got my white card. Here we are. This is paper, actually. So if you don't have card for all of the colours, that's fine. You can use paper for some of them. So... What I did first was, I'm going to put my screen down so you can see my paper. So the other things that you're going to need are some glue. Glue stick is probably the easiest. Um, you'll need a little, I've got a little sort of stick, but you could use a lollipop stick or a straw to make your Steve able to walk around. And also a pair of scissors, which you can ask a grown-up to help you with. And a white or a light coloured colouring pencil, because we're going to draw the outline of Steve onto this card. So we can't really use black pencil or pen because we won't be able to see it. So if we take another look, we can see that Steve is basically a circle on top of another circle. Can you see that? One's a bit more egg shaped. And then the little wings coming down, four little triangle points. So I'm just gonna do a little Steve shape. So here's Steve's head, the little neck coming down and See, I'm going to have another little look at Steve. Steve's little wings coming down like this. And they come all the way down like that. And then one, two, three, four. Boop. And one, two, three, four. And then the little body coming down like that. So I'm just going to do that first of all. Yeah. 
So we should all have something a little bit like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's actually nice when they're all different, I think. So we're going to cut that out very carefully or ask a grown-up to help you cut it out. Do -do -do. And I really like puffins, they're fun, I like their colourful beaks. So cut around there and then we'll get our basic steam shape. So when we cut all around, we're going to add the next bit, which I think should be Steve's lovely white belly. And it's a little bit more fiddly in between the sort of, they're almost like his fingers, but it's sort of the end of his wings, the little pointy feathery bits. So you might want to get a grown up to do that bit for you it's a bit tricky. So there we go. Oh. And what I plan to do, because I've already got one Steve, so you can make several Steves. Or you could make a different character and see how they interact because the other thing I've made which you can make too if you'd like to is a little puppet theater from a cereal box which I will show you in a moment so you should have something a little bit like this so what I've done is I've actually turned it around so you can't see the white marks that I made when I was drawing the outlines it's a bit more tidy so we have something like that. And the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out this paper is a little bit more cream than white, but that's fine. I'm going to cut out a little belly for Steve. And again, for this one, you can you can sort of do it, draw it out first if you'd like to. I'm not going to, I'm just going to cut it straight out because I don't mind if it's a bit not too straight because I think that gives it a little bit of character and it'll have his own funny little belly. Yeah. So we've got a little sort of circly egg shape there and I'm going to put a little bit of glue put my glue stick on there and pop it down so now we have something that's starting to get a little bit more puffiny I think now the next part I'm going to cut out is Steve's little white sort of triangle face. So I'm going to cut the triangle from the edge of my white piece of paper and then what I'm going to do is line it up like this and then I'm just going to cut around so cut off the white bit that's not on black card so that we have a piece like this. And then again a little bit of glue and boom, on goes Steve's little white face. There we are. So oops a daisy, Steve's trying to fly away. So. The next thing, what do you think the next thing might be that we can add? I think the beak. So I'm going to take a little bit of my orange card, which I have here, and I'm going to cut a sort of 
water. Beak shape. So that's a bit too big. So we want it to curve at the top like that. And then hmm, I've made that a little bit too big. So depending on the size of your Steve, you'll have a different size of beak. And what I've done with the beak is, instead of sticking it on top, I've stuck it underneath. And then you can line it up with the white. So you can have it the same size. So a little bit there. And then we'll line it up with the white. How does that look? Mm. That's about right, I think. Now, we've got a little beak. So, what else? I think Steve needs some little orange feet. So I'm going to take again my pencil or my white pencil. We'll be able to see it on the orange, so you could just use an ordinary pencil. And I'm just going to have a look at the feet. So they're sort of a sort of straight line, and then almost like three triangles stuck together. So one, two, oops, <laughs> my nib broke. I'm going to use a different one. Three. I'm going to do two of those. One, two, three. Okay. And again, they don't have to be exactly the same or perfect because remember, all the Steves are different. So we've got some sort of little bird feet there. And you know that Puffin's feet are webbed so that they can swim. So they're a little bit different from some other birds' feet, aren't they? And at the back of this book, another reason I really like it is it's got some facts about Puffins. I really like animal facts. And I'll tell you some of them in a moment. So again, get your grown-up to help you cut out these feet because they can be a little bit tricky because they're a bit small. And there we go. Now, I've left them quite long, you'll notice. They're a bit too long for Steve. But, oh, there's a little spider on Snee Steve. <laughs> and he called him Sneeze. I'm going to put the spider out the window. There we go. I've put the spider on the window ledge, so she'll be safe. Now, a little bit of glue on one. And a little bit of glue on the other one. Oops, a daisy. <laughs> now, Two legs for Steve. So I'm going to add a little bit of colour to Steve's beak because that's one of the most um, that's one of the most um, special things about puffins, isn't it? That they've got beautiful, um, colourful beaks. So I'm going to take a little bit of yellow and a little bit of blue. I'm just going to cut a little bit off because we only really need a tiny bit. So you don't have to use a new sheet of paper. And I'm going to cut a little curve like this. Just a tiny little curve, a bit like a beak. And that's going to go on here. And then we can just trim off the edge that doesn't fit on. And these are all going to be different, which is great. So I've made one already, but it's not going to be the same. And that's what we want. We want them all to be different, but they'll all be great. So here we go. And then I'm just going to trim off whoop, that little bit. Can you see? We might trim off this little bit sticking up. There we go. 
perfect. And then I'm going to do an even smaller little bit of blue. So you might want to get your grown up to help you to cut these little pieces. So let's see now. I'm going to stick that. Oops. Oh, goodness me. Too much glue. I'm going to stick that onto the middle of the yellow part. Now, what do you think is missing from my Steve? Hmm? I think an eye. So the last thing I'm going to add to Steve, I'm going to take a black pen. I hope it's a black pen. It is. Black marker. Or you could use a colouring pen or a colouring pencil. And I'm just going to do boop, a little dot. And there we go. That is my Steve. Now the last thing I'm going to do to Steve is... Remember I said you can get a, if you have a little stick, a lollipop stick or a um, straw, you can use that. And I'm going to stick that to the back of Steve. And then I can use Steve as a little puppet to put on shows. So I've got some sticky tape here. There we are. Let's get a wee bit of sticky tape and stick your stick or your straw onto the back of Steve. Yay! Steve! Shall we see if Steve wants to meet other Steve? <gasps> Where's other Steve gone? Other Steve's flown away. Deary me. That's a bit silly. Well, luckily I have this Steve, and I'm sure other Steve will turn up in the future. So, I was going to show you the other thing that I would made that you can use with your Steve. So, I used an old cereal box that I had, and I made a little puppet theatre. So, for this, you just need an old cereal box. And I cut it so I could flip up one of the sides and you can do this any way you want and I painted it red and I cut it, get a grown up to help you cut out a hole at the front and I've done a bit of decoration and you can decorate it however you want and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it ooh, to put on some shows about my sieves doo -ba -doo -doo. and the other thing you can try which I think is really fun is you can make Steve go to different places by doing a picture and popping it in the back. So look, where's Steve? Steve's at the beach making sandcastles. So that is an option for your Steves and then you can make them go on adventures and see what they get up to on their travels. And I hope my other Steve turns up. Very strange, I think he might have flown away. So there we go. Thank you so much for joining me for my Empathy Day craft session. I'm going to pop Steve over here. And thank you to the Steves, written by Morag Hood, which is an absolutely fantastic book. I hope you'll join us for more Empathy Day craft set or uh, Empathy Day story sessions. Whoops. And our regular story time sessions and craft sessions. Have a lovely rest of your day and be kind to each other. Bye! Bye Steve! Bye!